certainly this happened very, very quick. So a little bit of speculation would be in the order of less than a second. Uh, they had a, a booster emergency light illuminate in the Soyuz. We know that that light came on, which signaled to them that there was a, an anomaly with their, their ascent stage. And then their abort motors fired. So that's very, very quick. Uh, I would call it an ag acute onset of G, very brief but very high to get them away from the booster. So now they're in their, uh, their re-entry module. They've been separated from the booster. And then at that point, uh, the crew, the first thing that we, re we heard them report was that they had sensed weightlessness. And that's because they've been removed from the booster now and they're free falling back to Earth. And then the next call that we had from them was that they were feeling fine. And uh, then the ground teams asked them to engage the ballistic re-entry mode, which they did. And, uh, and we are well trained for all of, these, all of these events when we're coming back in. Uh, and so the crew handled their procedures exactly as planned. Um, because they were a little bit away from the launch site when they came down under parachute, we had a, a, a few moments where we did not have communications with them. But then Russian search and rescue forces picked up communication very quickly with them from one of their aircraft. Um, and then the Russian forces, the search and rescue forces, uh, were on the ground when the capsule touched down. So uh, they handled this emergency extremely well, extremely professionally. And, uh, and they were on the capsule immediately. And they were calling back reports to their mission control and to our mission control that they were in communications with both crew members and that they were feeling well. And, uh, and then the extraction happened uh, not long after that.